Hello everyone. Now I am recording this lecture to help you to understand what RBI is providing. A small tour to RBI classes. Let us begin to our journey as to know what RBI is actually giving you in the form of study material and how that particular material is going to be helpful for you and how this is going to be unique to ensure that you will not only pass your exam but also you will excel in your knowledge let us begin the journey now in order to in order to study and understand the concepts you will be getting video lectures video lectures now these video lectures are going to helpful to understand you each and every concept in a minute detail okay these lectures will going to explain you the concepts then we are going to solve examples then practical concepts thereafter we are going to solve questions and wherever needed we are going to attach the concept of excel so that you will not only learn the bookish knowledge but the practical knowledge will go parallel to your theoretical knowledge this is what all about the video lectures now there will be many questions from the side of the students like is there any limit is there any limit on the number of views is there any limit on the number of views so the answer is no means you can watch them you can watch them n number of times it's up to you like how many times you want to watch a particular lecture there is no limitation no time boundation from our side that you can watch the lecture twice thrice or four times clear so there is no limitation on the number of views next point is about validity of the course okay now when i am saying the validity sir i have purchased the course for february 2023 will it expire will it expire after february 23 the answer is no then when it is going to expire means when you won't be able to access the course content when you will pass your exam we ensure that we ensure that we will be there with you till the time you pass your exam that is our guarantee okay that we are going to give you the support till you pass your exam clear now apart from that apart from that how many hours how many hours you need to study daily now that is a very difficult question to say up front very difficult why because this involved many important factors many important factor means number 1 number 1 how many hours you can devote how many hours you can devote because if i'll ask a working professional okay now working professional can give say 14 hours per week clear but on the other hand on the other hand a college student or b school student college student or b school student they can devote 30 hours a week they don't mind but there is a one who passed his college and he is also not working okay not working now that particular person can easily devote 50 hours a week that person can easily devote 50 hours a week so the number of hours you can study that is completely dependent upon these three different factors okay now apart from the number of hours you can study one is most important factor is the input output ratio okay input output ratio now what is the meaning of this input output ratio you are giving 2 hours of studies and you are taking the benefit of 20 hours there are some type of student who study 2 hours so effectively that the output is so good that they won't forget the stuff they remember the points which they have studied the concepts got retained in the first review of the lectures there are student who study 20 hours the output is 2 hours might be they are using their instagram in between might be they are focusing on something else as well or might be they are little slow in studies okay every five fingers is not same so we need to ensure that every student have some unique capabilities 
some might be weak in quants some might be good in quants some might be good with fra some might be weak with fra so every student needs to be catered differently so what we do for them we are going to provide a strategy and schedule based on the needs and the requirements and the time constraint now this uniqueness this uniqueness is something which is going to help you to prepare the way you want to prepare clear now if you want you can note down these points that how many hours you need to study then i will move it ahead okay now apart from that how we are going to help you we are going to help you with the strategy to build a good strategy and schedule to focus on the core important areas to focus on the areas where you are weak means there are student who inform us sir that they are weak in quants okay so we ensure we ensure that you are going to focus more on quants if needed the basics of quants will be added to your course content so that you can excel it very easily because see there are student who are very good with mean median mode okay mean median and mode there can be students who might not be good with this so the one who need it will provide it because the one who know it's not worth of giving it to them these kind of basics because it presumed when you are doing cfn frm that you have that knowledge which we do during our schooling as well as in the college but still there are student who feel that they are weak in this so what we do we provide them with the very basics so that they can have the good strong foundation clear so this starting from what we are providing video lectures okay that video lectures will cover up all the concepts all the examples practical concepts relating that particular knowledge with the practical concept is very important clear now thereafter we solve questions thereafter excel wherever we feel that you need the knowledge of excel which is uh, which can be done in excel for that particular topic we give that apart from that the number of views on the videos unlimited validity till you pass there is no question about it now how many hours you need to study we are going to make you a proper schedule and strategy that what pattern you are going to follow what chronological order you are going to follow how many hours you can study weekly that also we are going to ensuring that what you are productivity okay you are that's completely dependent upon your productivity because at the end what's matter is your efficiency and accuracy okay efficiency and accuracy because this is something which varies from person to person okay you are studying 10 hours and you are solving after studying 10 hours you are solving 10 questions and you are correcting only two means what your percentage of accuracy is very low there are student who study 4 hours and when they solve those 10 question they are able to correct 8 or 9 means what their accuracy level is very high so for these kind of students whose accuracy level is low after giving so much of efforts their accuracy level is low what is most important is the practice revision of the topics again and again see it is for sure that you can come up in parallel to this person you can come up in parallel to this person means you are correcting 2 out of 10 and that person is correcting 8 out of 10 okay if this person is taking 4 hours you might be slow you might be slow but you can reach to this level might be you, you need 15 hours so if there is any need of the time if there is any need of the time that time you need to devote because if you won't devote the time it won't give you the result na it varies from person to person if you don't give time it won't give you the results clear so now this is everything about the video lectures they are short they are crisp to ensure that in the least possible time you will cover up the maximum possible amount of effectiveness clear now moving ahead with the notes notes worksheets worksheets and assignments now from this notes 
there are two things one is the mind maps and the other thing is the short notes mind maps short notes and one more point that is the handwritten notes handwritten notes clear now let me help you to understand what this mind map is mind map is nothing but a flow chart what is mind map it is nothing but the flow chart okay flow chart in the sense what you are going to study in this chapter the picturization of the chapter okay and that picturization of the chapter is helpful when you have studied that particular chapter so means this is going to be helpful before the exam this is going to be helpful before the exam don't worry i am going to show you a sample that how the mind maps actually looks like clear then i am going to move ahead with the short notes now these short notes i am going to prepare a one page note one page notes now this one page notes will cover up all the important points all important points now all these important points are not only uh, summing up together rather my focus is on the presentation presentation with respect to that you will be able to pictureize them you will be able to recognize them during the exam okay now i have used lots of innovative ideas while preparing the short notes i have included some of the emojis okay some of the sweet emojis if i feel somewhere the topic is difficult you will see the emojis are different even i have used the concept of nobita and uh, the doraemon because i personally feel that sometimes the pictureization okay the mind our mind actually create the picture of the content which we read so it is very difficult to create a pictureization of 50 30 pages in the book but when you will see those 30 pages in a single page our mind create a pictureization and i am trying to ensure that all those important and hard topics i am going to put up with a good character and a good emojis so that during the exam hall many times you forget the concept when you close your eyes that pictureization will come in front of you trust me this is going to be helpful i have tried this during my studies my students have tried this during their preparation and they all said at the end of the exam when i got their message when the exams are over they said that sir these short notes help me to remember the concepts very easily because you have marked those areas in such a way that they are important and they are difficult so these short notes are going to be helpful even i am going to show you the sample of this now this handwritten notes now handwritten notes are my notes my personal my personal class notes now these personal class notes are basically helpful for those students who are joining the classes few months before the exam when they don't have enough time to actually prepare their self notes so what's helpful for them they take my notes they take the print out of the notes and whatever necessary important points they feel they can put up on their page only rather than keeping the notes in a separate notebook and writing down each and every point because in my personal class notes you will find out all the examples all the questions which i have solved you will find everything okay so only the key important thing which i am dictating might be which i am not writing in the board just you need to note down that except that you don't have to note except that you don't have to note down anything so this will save your lots of time but this is advisable only for those students who are joining close to their exam okay just few months left before the exam clear even i am going to show you the sample for these three okay so first of all let us move ahead to see that how the samples actually look like okay now let me zoom it see these are my class notes these are my class notes which you are going to get so means everything is written over here everything is written over here but this is advisable only to those students who are joining close to the exam because the more you write of your own the retention level is going to be very high clear if you will take my notes retention is low but you don't have option because time is less when time you have time make sure that you will write your own notes so that retention is going to be very high when you will open your notebook for the purpose of revision when you have written of your own 
you things will click very easily you will be able to read smoothly because you have written it clear so these are the class notes everything each and every question solution you will find in my class notes okay you will be able to get this in the form of pdf if you wish you can take the print out of this clear now let us see other material now this one is the mind map this one is the mind map you can see the flow chart this one is the flow chart okay means all the topics which are discussed in the chapter everything everything in a very short and a crisp manner is given over here and this is helpful basically for those topics which are theoretical in nature the one which are practical it's very difficult to plot them in the flow chart but yes we try our best to ensure that you will get this for all possible chapters clear so you can see this flow chart i'll try that uh, i'll put up these uh, notes which i'm showing this in the video lectures in the google drive so that you can at least check of your own because uh, sometimes it's difficult to see in the video lectures sometimes it's difficult to read from there onwards so i'll put up that in the google drive link clear now apart from this apart from this my short notes which i am saying that uh, they are going to be the really game changer for you helpful for you for the purpose of revising during the examination hole let me zoom it see like this i have uh, created the emojis i have underlined all those important stuff i have mentioned that the topics which seems to be difficult to me okay you can see that using those fl flow chart okay using those trees i try to ensure that everything will sustain you can see this emojis don't forget means the topic is going to be very helpful during the exam okay you can expect questions from these areas now student uh, difficult to understand these diagrams which are given in the book so this will relate them okay go for the class notes there i have explained these graphs very easily you can relate it very well okay so these kind of emojis will really helpful to retain the concepts for a longer period of time and when you will forget the things these are going to be you can see emojis the presentation okay means these kind of questions where the students actually messed up so the kind of uh, emojis and kind of pictureization over here i have taken with the with this particular example that net cost of carry students uh, really face problem in this area so i try my best that they will get whatever they want at least we try our best to innovate the things so that uh, it is going to be helpful otherwise it's not mandatory trust me okay it's even i can also leave the same with the lectures okay practice test practice book but still i personally feel that uh, innovation is the key and let's innovate for our student to make the things easier to make the things better and uh, i have that enthusiasm i have that zeal uh, considering my age i ensure that i provide my student with the best possible material you can see this uh, these are the area where student actually forget the formula that uh, how to find out the value of call how to find out the payoff how to find out the profit how to find out the losses clear but again when they will uh, consider that when they will go with that uh, class notes they will find it comfortably very easy clear so this is how i have taken this notes clear apart from this apart from this a very important thing which i'll show you right here onwards then i will explain you the benefit of these worksheets and all okay means trust me you will find these worksheet okay everywhere you will find out the stipulated class notes but uh, i personally thought to design those worksheet like we used to have in our normal school days in college days that once you complete the chapter let's uh, solve some of the questions there are questions which are given in the book but these questions are completely purely designed by me i have considered that students will download these worksheet solve the questions over here in the worksheet itself and they can keep this with their notes okay these worksheet are going to helpful for them you will see the solution is given along with the question okay in the top you will find up the question 
thereafter you will find out the solution for the same now these worksheet will cover different types of areas of the topic that particular chapter i'll try that uh, to cover all the possible areas of the chapters in the given worksheet now this is uh, helpful for those topics which are practical in nature for theoretical it's uh, useless to provide those worksheet where you need to remember the theories clear so i provide this worksheet clear now let us move back to where we are now you are going to get worksheet and i have already given you the demo that how this worksheet looks like and this worksheet is going to helpful to practice helpful in practicing clear the more you will practice the more theory as well as the practical concept are going to be retained at the end what you want solve the understand the chapter solve the question combine them together it is going to sustain for a longer period of time and these are not in the form of mcq that's the most important point because if you'll see the whole curriculum is in the form of mcq where you have to just tick 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 but the conceptual building okay comes when you solve the particular question step by step clear at the end we have to go with the mcq but this small worksheet are going to be helpful clear now we also provide assignments now these assignments are basically for those who have enough time okay not for the working professionals because they don't have enough time and they are not they are not going to be anywhere related to the syllabus okay not related to the syllabus now what these assignments are these assignments are basically the practical core area of the finance means if someone is studying derivative i always urge them to go and see the derivative derivative call and put option trading okay derivative call and put option trading what happened today okay or you can see opec opec okay understand about this organization then credit policies monetary policies budgets all these are covered in the assignments no way related to the exam but related to the basic building foundation strong foundation i can assure you one thing okay if you are really listening to this video carefully that once you are done with those assignments worksheet and notes if you are sitting in between 10 people i can guarantee you that among those 10 you are going to shine very brighter based on your knowledge the level of expertise you have why because along with the books you are involved with the real market and that real market the real economy is done via this assignments clear working professional they all are already indulged in the practical knowledge but the one those who are like the students of b schools colleges non working they are not in too much touch with the practical stuff practical real life world so it's better to start it from here onwards so that whenever you will reach that level of job okay your knowledge will shine out others that's my basic agenda clear now let us come to our third most important area is the test okay now these test will include many different types of test and the students who have already studied from us they know that how these tests are going to be helpful first of all it starts with the weekly test weekly test now every sunday we conduct a test every sunday we conduct a test means how come suppose we start started our studies from monday okay we started our studies from monday so from monday to friday i am going to give you a target to complete say three chapters okay three chapters on saturday you are going to revise that and on sunday i am going to take the test of those three chapters this is this is the target for week 1 okay this is the target for week 1 now there is another target for week 2 so suppose you started week 2 I don't know what's happening over here. Yes, week two. So in the week two, uh, again I am going to give you three chapters. Okay, these are the three new chapters. Again, you will study from Monday to Friday and complete these three chapters. Now this Sunday, this Sunday, you are sorry, this Saturday. First of all, you are going to revise six chapters. Six chapters. this week three chapters and previous week three chapters and on sunday you are going to give the test of six chapters clear similarly week three you are going to do nine week four you are going to give 12 so means cumulative testing 
why we have innovated this uh, method of cumulative testing the reason is that many students come up with the problems that they forget they don't get time to revise so i thought uh, the best thing which i can do is i can force you to revise how come by ensuring that uh, we are going to take these weekly tests which are cumulative in nature so that whatever you have studied you are going to give the test based on that so after doing this cumulative test i can assure you you will not forget the concept because these topics are going to be revised again and again and also remember when you are revising this over here when you are revising this over here the previous three chapters the time to revise will reduce means the first revision suppose will take 2 hours of that three chapters the second revision will definitely take 1.5 hours because now things got retained third revision will take only 1 hour so don't think that how will i revise that revision time will also reduce because a time will come when you will see the page and things are coming in front of you when you will just see the page things will come in front of you your mind will able to process the information given in that particular page clear so the time to revise a chapter reduced from 2 hours to 20 minutes 2 hours to 20 minutes and this is what we need because on the last day of the exam you cannot revise the full syllabus by giving 2 hours clear so what you need you need something which is very crisp which is created by of your own okay you develop the habit of revising on a regular interval and a particular chapter can be revised in that 20 minutes easily after doing so many revision and after testing so many times your knowledge will improve your testability will improve your accuracy will improve your efficiency will also improve now apart from that whatever you have studied whatever you have studied that will be tested means sir i have studied three chapters let us see how much you have studied because there are many students who say sir i have completed foundation i have completed derivatives okay but when i take the test now the real picture come in front of me that out of 30 they are getting 12 15 that means what they really need to work on that area if i'll be taking that test at the end of the year okay close to the exam you don't have time to improve but if you'll take test now see your real picture in front of the mirror okay where you are at least you have the time to improve clear and when you are building a building make sure its foundation are strong clear so that's what my agenda with the weekly test clear now apart from the weekly test this is something which is unique which is uh, innovated by me personally to ensure that i can help the students clear now apart from this you are going to get the practice test practice test then mock exams also subject test means once you complete a full subject okay there are suppose six reading in a particular subject when you are done with those six reading let us have a test of that subject means fixed income in fixed income i take te test in three slabs first two chapters then next two chapters then the last two chapters then a cumulative test of fixed income means a subject wise test clear and sometimes sometimes i do bomb test now when i'm say bomb test it is like a surprise attack means you have done your quants two months back you have done your quants two months back let us have a test of quants today let us have a test of quants today without revision let us see how much you are able to retain okay this is not an exam okay exam will take place the real day when you have registered but these are the test which you are building yourself to get ready for the real exam clear now the mock exams i always want my students to complete the full syllabus at least 45 days before the exam at least 45 to 50 days before the exam now what's the benefit of completing the syllabus so early okay there must be some benefit right so what is what is the real benefit the real benefit is that i ensure my students to do the revision of the full syllabus three times revision 1 revision 2 revision 3 so i am giving them actually 10 days to revise the full syllabus to revise the full syllabus i am giving those 10 days after full revision let's have a mock 1 let's have a mock 1 clear 
Now after giving mock 1, there are some mistakes. There are some mistakes, some loopholes you will find out by giving the whole mock exams. Now we will work on that. Again we are going to revise the whole syllabus. I will provide you 10 days. Then mock 2. You will see some amount of improvement from mock 1 to mock 2. Clear? Again there will be some improvements needed after mock 2. Then I will give you more 10 days to ensure you that you will revise the full syllabus again. Give the mock 3. Give the mock 3. Clear? This is how step by step we improve. And the last last 15 days we don't want any mocks. The only thing we which we want is to practice to revise the questions which are wrong. Now this is something which is way too important. People learn from their mistakes. Suppose I say that always I say to my student that if you are giving a test of 10 questions, okay, if you are giving a test of 10 questions and you are correcting 0, okay, your score is this, I won't mind. Even if you are scoring this, I won't mind. I don't need 9 out of 10. I don't need 9 out of 10 in the practice test which I am taking. I can satisfy myself with 0 out of 10. But there is something from which I want from you after this 0 out of 10 is the efforts, is the area to work on. Means you need to see all the wrong questions. You need to see all the wrong questions and their solutions. And their solutions. Now after looking for these questions and solutions, you need to ensure that you are going to expertise in those. Okay, when you are going to expertise in those, suppose I am going to take test in week 2, you will find some questions which are related to the previous one. And if you will incorrect this time, if this time you will make them wrong, this is not acceptable. Mistakes is allowed only once. Second time if you are doing it, then you are trying to make yourself fool as well as myself. Once a mistake done, work on it so that it won't be repeated again. I allowed only once. Clear? So this is how we ensure. So our test panel is also designed to help you to work on this. Because once you give a test, all the wrong questions, all the wrong questions and their solutions will be available to you and you can revise them n number of times. So we believe in Revi revisiting our mistakes again and again. I am going to show you the panel that how it actually looks like but this is I am giving you an overview that how things are going to work at our end. Clear? Now apart from this you have seen video, you have seen notes, you have seen different types of tests even including the mock exams. Clear? Now there are few additional things which we provide to the student is the concepts of Excel which are related to the exam apart from that the podcast okay this podcast are basically helpful for the purpose of revision okay means the whole topic i am giving you an audio the whole topic i am giving you an audio and that audio will help you to revisit the whole concepts in a subconscious mind if you put up the earplugs and you listen to them things will become easy for you clear now these podcasts you can find on spotify Okay, then you can find it on Ghana app. Thereafter, I think it's also on Geo 7. Clear? We are also trying to put it on uh, Google Podcast as well. Okay? But till now, it's available on these three Spotify, Ghana, or Geo 7. Whichever you use, you can go to our podcast channel and you can see all the available podcasts and we are upgrading them. Okay, innovation is the key. You are never perfect every time you improve, every time you add something to improve yourself. Clear? And in the coming time, we are also coming up with SQL, R as well as Python for our students. Because it's the age of artificial intelligence. Okay? And if you will not expertise in the artificial intelligence, you will lack in the future. So, we are working on this. And as soon as we are, we will come up with this, we are going to provide it to the students. Clear? So these all are the materials which you are going to get from my side. Now the question is how the doubts will get solved. Okay, the most and the foremost important point. Clear? So the most important thing 
the most important thing is that students come to me from globe what's the important key area that students are coming to me such an unexperienced person and there are people who have the experience of 10 years 15 years in the industry the reason is the availability the reason is the availability means i am available to the students this is what their requirement is means if they ask me to contact 5 pm okay i might say that i am not available at 5 pm but i will not say that i won't contact you i can fix up a time at 8 pm but i can ensure you that i am going to talk to you that is for sure but but availability is most important so how can you clarify your doubts your doubts can be clarified on whatsapp on whatsapp even on even on audios which i'll send via whatsapp or if needed we can connect over a phone calls to discuss the doubts all possible methods to ensure that you will succeed we are going to provide all type of supports to you clear so this is the whole thing that how we are going to helpful and how we are going to support you to help you to clear your exam in the very first shot okay definitely it's never a guarantee it's all dependent on your hard work okay how you are going to follow the guidance how you are going to take all the video lectures how much notes you are working on how much practice test you are taking okay when everything will go according to the schedule when everything will go according to the schedule you can see how intensive the process is how intensive it is after taking weekly test monthly test subject wise test mock exams three full syllabus revision and weekly revision of the previous topics i don't think so we are leaving any space for you to fail the exam okay if you really follow if you give your hard work your dedication you are going to pass with this methodology clear so now there onwards i'll show you and uh, how our website looks like how you will find the content on our website how the test panel looks like and how you can take the maximum benefit of it okay so let us come to it you'll see this is our website you are going to get the link of the website username as well as the password to log in to our website clear now once you log in it will take some time to load because the lectures are there and these lectures will take i think less than 30 seconds to get loaded so let's wait for it okay now it's there i have taken a platform of one of my students so i'm using that you can see it's uh, february 22 okay 2022 and you can see the time at which i'm recording the lecture clear now what what is the need of this time and date the need is that we are having the analytics of our students means if you are watching this lecture suppose suppose you watch this frm part 1 quants sample moments okay and you are watching any one of the lecture say you are watching this lecture 1 clear so now i have the information about you that you are watching this lecture 1 and how much time you have actually watched this lecture now i am uh, putting this lecture on mute so that uh, you cannot uh, hear that voice otherwise it will uh, conflict with my words clear so over here you can see this lecture okay as well as as well as we can trace you how much topics you have actually completed that's why we have integrated that system of analytics to understand that how many lectures students have actually watched clear now okay this is how lectures look like clear now suppose i'll i'm going to take you for cfa level 2 say fixed income section say the arbitrage free valuation okay you will see lecture 1 lecture 2 lecture 3 lecture 4 now this 15 14 12 and 13 these are actually the screen notes which i have shown you that my written handwritten notes this binomial tree is actually a file to help you to understand the concepts or basically we can say the worksheet okay over here also you are going to get the assignments you can see that i have uploaded assignments i have uploaded videos i have uploaded notes okay everything you will find in the panel and i have already shown you that how they are going to work also i am going to share the excel file means in any lecture if i am using excel i try my level best to ensure that you will get the access to that excel file 
and you can practice of your own the more you will practice the more you will be comfortable with the excel i am assuming that you have the basic knowledge of excel clear so this is the whole tour of our website how you play the lectures how you watch the lectures okay how things are going to work out clear apart from that we have a second panel which is for the test okay so over here you are going to get the different username and password for the test panel so i am going to show you this is my test panel clear this is going to be my test panel now suppose i want to do the test of foundation okay so i'll in the search box i'll put foundation and i want to do the test of first three chapters you can see test of first three chapters test of first six chapters full foundation test so we'll find out every possible test which we are putting up and if you are doing suppose uh, one to five chapters so we will create a test and upload for you in your portal that is i am particularly ensuring you clear now suppose you want to do this test okay test one first three chapters so once you click start test this kind of window will open in front of you screen will automatically full screen it will ask you for your username okay username is the username which you have used to log in now you will see the test panel in front of you okay this is the test panel you will see the questions four options you have to choose any one of them clear suppose you want to jump to question number 7 directly you can jump you want to jump to 21 you want to jump to 27 so it's completely up to you clear now you see that i have answered question number 27 now you will see you will see the question number 27 which i have answered is marked with green means the question which i have answered yellow orange orange means what the questions i visited but i haven't answered why might be i don't have the right answer in front of you and all those white boxes are those which i haven't visited yet the white boxes are for those which i haven't visited yet clear so over here i can put up any values okay i don't want to give the test now so i'm just showing you how this is actually working now over here you can see time remaining so means there is a clock 59.03 after a point of time after a point of time when you will cover up these 59 minutes test will stop automatically why i want you to work in that foundation clear now all the tests are in cbt mode we give our student a particular time frame within which they have to complete the test clear now once you are done you click on submit button once you are done with the test you click on submit button it will calculate your score okay i haven't given anything so don't assume if i'll make any correct or incorrect okay 0 out of 30 means even the luck is also not favoring now how this is going to helpful you see the question the solution is c and the detailed solution for it means why it is c you need to understand that that why you are going to mark c the solution is given for you clear similarly you will see this question then correct answer c then why it is c clear so everything is given in a detailed way clear this is b you can see solution b now you have given the test let us progress check okay so in the progress check you see that this is a dummy account i have already previously used this account many times to show a demo to many students so these are the different scores which students get <clears throat> okay suppose i'll put up the entry like this 50 so there are 50 more than 50 test and you can see there are many test which are given so you will find out this word given that you have given this test you have given this test so suppose my score was 43 okay my score was 43 i want to see all those questions which are incorrect i want to revisit after say 15 days you can go to the view solutions you will see all the questions correct option and the solution means you have the right to revisit your mistakes again and again clear so this is something which is going to benefit you clear and this is how we ensure our students will take the benefit of this apart from this you can go to the course suppose your course is foundation proceed clear what are the chapters you have completed you can mark them as done 
what are the chapters you have completed you can mark them as done so that any time you can check your progress okay it's very important to check your progress see you have done seven chapters out of 11 now you can see a proper picturization that how much you have actually completed clear similarly you can go with the valuation you can proceed you can see how much you have actually completed this clear so you can take the benefit of this uh, test panel okay you can take the benefit of this uh, whole platform for your success even in the progress report we have this detailed graph okay which shows what is the percentage you have scored you can see one was 43 one was 1.1 another was 12.5 clear so this will show you your progress report that what is the maximum marks you have scored how many tests which are below 50 so everything is going to be in a very detailed way i have personally worked very hard to design this platform i have used all my innovative ideas i have given my day and nights to ensure that this will become the best platform for my students now i am giving this to ensure your success because when i was a student i felt these things are lacking traditional teaching is fine but along with that when technology is available let us combine them together so i am taking the help of both traditional as well as modern traditional means communicating regularly with the students weekly test assignments <coughs> and technology you can see okay now these are available to you on all platforms if you are using windows you are using linux or you are using mac ios platform or you are using android platform every on every platform you can access our content it's the reason i have recorded this to ensure you what we actually giving to our students okay even uh, we are working for providing and creating some more innovative things okay there is never an end for the innovation we are coming up with many uh, different ideas that we can come up with the stories to ensure that whole foundation whole derivative can be covered up in a story so that they can retain it we are working on it definitely in the coming year you will see that apart from this there are many more things will be added just only for your benefit that you can take the maximum benefit out of it things will become easier okay hard work is always there every time you worked hard every time you worked hard but let us sometimes work joyfully let us sometimes work smartly to ensure that we can make the things easier for us. Okay, the same thing is done, but can be done in a very different way. Na? So, we are going to help you in that way. Clear? So, I am ending this session here to ensure you that you will understand the whole study material concept of RBI. You are going to get it on the same day you register with us. Okay, less than 12 hours we take to provide it to you so that you can study your classes without any hassle in the least possible time we try to make it for you clear so i end this here anyone for those who want to register and start with us can definitely give a ring to me i am going to personally available you can whatsapp me as well you are going to find all the details in the given link okay thank you